Welcome to our lesson on communicable disease, viruses, and bacteria. The key questions for today are: one, what is a communicable disease? Two, how are communicable diseases spread? Three, what preventative measures can help to avoid diseases? Four, what is a bacterial disease? Five, what is a viral disease? The key words you'll need to know are pathogen, virus, bacteria, toxins, infectious. Communicable diseases are diseases that can be spread amongst a population. They are caused by pathogens. Pathogens are disease-causing microorganisms. They can be bacteria, viruses, fungi, or protists. Not all microorganisms are pathogens. Communicable diseases are also called infectious diseases, as they can be passed on from one human to another. They can also be passed amongst animals and plants. When a communicable disease affects a lot of people, animals or plants, in a short amount of time, it is called an outbreak. This is when an infected organism passes on the disease to others through contact or the air. The most common way to spread communicable diseases is by touching an infected person or an item that they have touched or used. Breathing in or swallowing droplets expelled through coughs or sneezes, eating contaminated food, or coming into contact with bodily fluids. Task: List the ways that you can think of that would stop communicable diseases from spreading. The spread of communicable diseases can be stopped or slowed by many different precautions. These include. Washing your hands regularly to ensure no pathogens are on your hands, catching coughs and sneezes in tissues and then disposing of them, receiving vaccinations, preparing food in a safe and clean environment, and ensuring people who are ill do not prepare it, drinking clean water, increasing airflow through buildings and homes with ventilation systems. Cleaning areas that people touch frequently with disinfectant, using condoms during sex, reducing the population of insects or animals that could carry diseases, wearing facial masks. Task: Suggest why people in warm and overcrowded spaces are more likely to contract a communicable disease. In a warm and crowded environment, pathogens can reproduce quickly, and you're more likely to come into close contact with infected people or items they have touched, which increases your chances of becoming infected with the pathogen. Different pathogens cause different diseases and cause illness in different ways. Bacteria reproduce rapidly inside the body and produce toxins that can damage cells and cause illness. Viruses invade cells and reproduce inside before bursting out and infecting more cells. The rupture of the cells can cause damage to tissues, causing the sufferer to experience illness. Bacterial diseases include tetanus, tuberculosis, cholera, and salmonella. They are all spread by a bacterial pathogen that can be picked up from surfaces, food, or the air. Pathogens that spread in the air are called airborne. Bacteria are single-celled prokaryotic organisms. Viral diseases include the common cold, flu, COVID, measles, Ebola, and HIV. Most viruses are either airborne or spread by contact with an infected person or their bodily fluids. Viruses are very small, smaller than all other pathogens. 
A virus must invade a living cell in order to reproduce. The cell it invades is called a host. Extension. Outline the key differences between a virus and a bacterium. A virus is smaller than a bacterial cell and requires a living host in order to reproduce. Bacteria and viruses cause different diseases. Viruses can affect the host cell in two different ways. They can reproduce inside it and burst out of the cell causing damage. Or they can cause the viral DNA to incorporate with the host cell's DNA. When a virus alters the DNA of some cells, it can leave a person at risk of developing other diseases later in life, such as cervical cancer and some other cancers developing following infection with HPV virus. Measles is caused by a virus that is spread by breathing in droplets from coughs and sneezes. It's a serious illness and causes a red skin rash and a fever. This can cause severe illness and even death in some people. Babies and children are vaccinated against measles, so it's now less common. HIV is a virus spread through contact of bodily fluids, such as sexual intercourse and contact with blood. Blood contact can occur through sharing needles. HIV attacks the immune system, leaving the person with a weakened immune system and unable to fight off other pathogens. This is called AIDS. When people develop AIDS, they're more likely to become seriously ill with another infection. HIV cannot be cured, but can be treated with antiretroviral drugs that control how the disease progresses. The initial symptoms of HIV are flu-like, leaving the sufferer feeling weak and unwell. Tobacco mosaic virus, or TMV, is a plant disease. TMV is spread by a viral pathogen that spreads through infected soil or humans and animals touching infected plants and transferring the virus to healthy plants. It's treated by clearing any infected plants and washing between touching different plants. TMV appears as a black pattern on the leaves of a plant, preventing photosynthesis and causing the plant to be unable to grow like it should. Task. How is HIV transmitted? HIV is transmitted through contact with blood or bodily fluids. Extension. How could the spread of HIV be reduced? Transmission of HIV is reduced by using a condom when having sexual intercourse and refraining from sharing needles. Bacterial diseases are spread by bacterial pathogens. A common bacterial disease is salmonella. This is a type of food poisoning caused by food that has not been prepared in a hygienic way. Food should be kept in a clean environment and cooked to a high enough temperature that ensures all bacteria are killed. Salmonella is more common in poultry foods like chicken and eggs. However, most chickens are now vaccinated, so it is becoming less common. However, undercooked food can still carry the bacteria and make people unwell. This occurs more in the summer when people have barbecues or leave food out for long periods of time. This increases the risk of other diseases that can be transmitted by food, not just salmonella. The symptoms of salmonella are fever, abdominal cramps, vomiting and diarrhoea. These symptoms are caused by the toxins released by the bacteria once they enter the digestive system. In severe cases, people may become dehydrated and require hospital treatment. Gonorrhea is another bacterial disease. Gonorrhea is transmitted through sexual intercourse. It causes thick yellow-green discharge and pain when urinating. If left untreated, it can cause infertility and septicemia. It's treated with antibiotics, but some strains of the disease have become resistant to the antibiotics, meaning that they are no longer effective. The spread of gonorrhea can be reduced by the use of condoms. 
Chlamydia is another sexually transmitted disease that is spread by a bacterial pathogen. It often has no symptoms but can cause pain when urinating. Chlamydia can also be treated with antibiotics and prevented by using a condom. Task. Name some bacterial diseases. Answer. Salmonella, gonorrhea and chlamydia.